Okay. Right, I don't know if that stopped recording or not. It's very hard to see with sweat in your eyes. Anyway, I was talking about mum. And I had to get a house that she could live in that was close to ambulance and hospitals and things. Uh, by the time mum had gone, well, the price is up on the mountains, wow. Uh, no way. But I found my place. I could not be happier. Absolutely brilliant. Oh. Oh man, my arms are killing me. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is just all protected bushland. This is Australia to me. Uh, the only other thing that I love more than bushland is rainforest. Rainforest is just unbelievably good. I'm gonna try and plant some kind of rainforest where I live because we have a micro environment, we're surrounded by hills. So our environment is somewhat different to everybody else's in the suburbs. Look at that tree. I'm gonna come and climb that tree one of these days, bring my climbing equipment. There's a lot of trees here that would be really fun to climb and get an amazing view. And here we come to the steps of horror. Now what we have gotta try and do is make sure we step on each one. Look at that. Whoops. Yeah. No. Where am I? There I am. Is that me? Wow, I cannot see a thing. Oh, there I am. Right. Step. Step. Yeah. Forces you to stretch your quadriceps. I don't know. Useless at anatomy. Oh. Well, I am going to send out these videos to everyone unedited. Because if I watch them, I'm a perfectionist. I'll be like, oh no, no, I can't send that. So, you're gonna see me warts and all. Whew. I keep dropping things. Oh, yeah, I'm not good. Oh, here we go, staggering time. <laughs> Seriously, it's like being drunk. Whoa, that tree came down. This is what's so dangerous about trees. People say to me, why do you want to climb and cut down trees? Well, I love climbing. I love the danger of it. But they're dangerous as well. Trees are bloody dangerous, pardon my French. Oh, any of these trees could fall down at any time. We actually had two, it was either two guys or one guy, I can't remember. No, I think it was one guy. How unlucky can you be? Seriously. This poor guy's driving at night in the bush, going to camp somewhere. Oh, sorry. So, they got a uh, problem with a car, flat tire or something. Pulls over, gets out. He's standing outside the car. At that very minute, a giant gum tree decides, yeah, I've had enough, and it just falls over. It killed him instantly. Poor guy never had a chance. Oh, wow. Palm trees are worse. So that's why if I'm walking past palm trees, I always walk as close to them as I can. If they fall over, they end up pushing me out of the way because if I'm further away, they'll just fall on me. I hope I'm not shouting because I've got music in my ears. I'm probably shouting on it. You'll have to turn the volume down. Sorry about that. All right. Oh, this is the best part of the walk. We're coming to my rest spot. See over there, those lovely shady trees. So I'm gonna stop there. I'm gonna do some stretches. I'm gonna clap. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna collapse. <laughs> and uh, drink some water sometimes I fall asleep and then when I'm ready I'll walk the rest of the way home so I go across the road always look both ways 
and look the other way again. Don't look right, left or left, right, because if you're overseas, you'll look the wrong way. Just walk, walk, sorry, just look. Oh, here we go. Just, just walk, just walk. Oh boy. Just look both, both ways. Okay. Oh.